Hey there, nice to meet you. My name is Grace and I am an undergraduate student at Stanford University, majoring in material science and engineering, but also looking to do a prospective computer science master's degree. So I'm super excited for this opportunity to travel to Moscow this fall to attend the 2019 ACES Summit Leadership Conference. And uh, so a little bit about me. When I was younger, my older brother Oliver and I, we would spend every couple of summers in China visiting our grandparents and being able to immerse ourselves in the culture. These were some of my favorite memories because it gave me a chance not only to uh, taste delicious foods and talk to local students in the area, but it was also a meaningful time for me to take it slow and listen to the stories that my grandparents had to share about their their childhoods and their younger days. Uh, but when I was in high school, my family received some really heartbreaking news. My grandfather on my mother's side uh, gradually began to develop Alzheimer's disease. And at the time, I was too young to really understand what it was and what it meant. But for me, this grandfather, who I idolized as a figure, suddenly he was once a war veteran and he loved to go running and swimming with me over summers. But gradually he began to first not remember what time it is, not remember people's faces and names, and then slowly he also didn't recognize my mother or me, which was really devastating. Uh, so when I reached high school, starting 10th grade, I decided to, to take initiative and do research in the field of material science. I think I chose material science because I was very indecisive and I love to fuse all of the all of the beautiful life sciences together from biology to chemistry to physics and really incorporate that all into new products and new technology for our world. So I was really fortunate because my parents were very uh, supportive of my decisions and so I reached out to a local university on Long Island, which is where I'm from, to ask a research professor if I could work in her lab doing material science research. It was a very steep, um, steep appeal for me because I had so much um, science and uh, tech and research skills to learn, but I really dove myself in it. And I think the hardest part for me was being away from my family. So during the summers when my friends would go to camp or play, I decided to take the train and commute hours every day to the to this university and to be able to step into this lab as the only high schooler in the research lab and really start synthesizing these gold and iron oxide nanoparticles. These nanoparticles, I believed, were such a such a great direction that researchers could take because they were able to be used for MRI imaging, for drug delivery, and also just to be able to enca encapsulate all these different sorts of growth factors to be used with magnetic models and to deliver different, different components. So I decided to focus my nanoparticles for nerve tissue regeneration in the spinal cord and brain. And this was because I really wanted to create something that would potentially be useful for, for people with traumatic brain injuries or with neurodegenerative diseases like my grandfather. And even though oftentimes my culture cells would die or I really wouldn't understand what was, what was happening when something went wrong, I still stuck at it and I was really grateful for the different opportunities that doing research lent itself to me. I got to talk with brilliant scientists. I was mentored under a research lab by a female and Asian professor, and I was able to just do something that meant so much to me and that my grandfather could be proud of. So I would really love to participate in the summit because I think it's a great place where international students can come together and share ideas in this global forum. I think I can bring a lot of enthusiasm, uh, humor, and uh, energy to this and really be able to bring my experience and wealth of knowledge in the nanotechnology, biotechnology frontier. Now, something that I really want to share that means a lot to me is social impact. So when I become an entrepreneur, I would really like to create products that are not only low cost, 
but very accessible. I recently came back from South Africa uh, after a few months doing a lot of field work, and it was just a gratifying experience. Thank you.